Good morning traders and welcome to the new weekly market analysis today Monday the 27th of November. Yes we are changing our format after five six years of doing the daily call. We will now be doing uh, every Monday morning a weekly market analysis where I'll look at the forex market looking at the four major currencies commodities with gold and oil and also the stock market uh, focusing on the ASX 200. So that'll be every Monday and my aim is to do it in a short uh, seven to ten minute video where you can get your all your analysis for the week also looking at the major data that will be impacting the markets for that week um, so that's the aim so don't forget to subscribe to us just over here uh, subscribe and like the video help the channel so that you don't miss uh, any videos as I release them every Monday Tuesday through to Friday we'll focus on the chart of the day that'll be a short video where it's uh, maybe a, a one and a half a two minute analysis of one chart uh, focusing on one trade idea for the day so that'll be the chart of the day so look out for those ones as well they'll be released daily all right having said that let's get started this morning and uh, let's start our analysis looking at the Aussie US dollar. Now normally when I look at my charts what I like to do is I like to really zoom out of my chart first because I see the big picture. Looking and zooming out of this particular chart the first thing that I'm noticing is uh, there's levels here. Give me one moment. Let me just adjust my lines a little bit. Uh, this is what I normally do when I'm analyzing my charts and I can see that there's a level here where the market has been quite uh, resistive in the past. We, you know we've been there and we've shot off a couple of times. So what I like to do is I like to leave the line on my chart because what I'm going to focus on now is just let me just adjust it a little bit. Give me one moment as I do this what I focus on is I'm interested in this area here so as the market comes back in towards this area I'm very interested in it because there's a good probability that it could shoot back down okay so as the market enters this region what I like to do is look for price action reversal let me zoom back in now so we can see it a little bit better so when I've zoomed in on my chart these marks remain there so what would be interesting is if the mark comes up here and then if it shows me um, a reversal pattern okay so price action reversal pattern uh, something that may look a little bit like this uh, where we get an inside candle that'll be a signal for me to become a seller okay so at the moment for the Aussie US uh, dollar what I can see is that I'm particularly going to be interested when the market reaches this area here which will be around about the 66.50 level okay depending where it hits it on this line obviously uh, it could go here or it could you know over here somewhere um, but that's what we're looking for so what I'll do is I leave these marks on my chart so the next time I come and look at this particular chart it's very easy for me to see where I'm up to and what to look for all right so there you have it that's my Aussie US dollar uh, analysis let's move along let's have a look at the euro USD again let me zoom out let's have a, a broad picture um, of what's taken place and clearly we can see that we were in a big down we've bounced back up and what I can see straight away is a little bit of congestion through this area here that the market is sort of undersized if it hasn't shot back through like it's tried to pop through there but then it's also tried to pop through there so um, it's undecisive let me zoom in a little bit so I can just explain a couple of things just to that point there in a market when the highs are getting higher and at the same time the lows are getting lower so in other words if you have a look uh, at this point here this is a high that was higher than the previous high and then if you focus on this point here this is a low 
that was lower than the previous low. So in other words, the market is what I like to call expanding. It's getting larger and larger. When a market is acting in this way, I tend to stay away from that particular market because it doesn't seem to have settled in on a trend. The, what I prefer to see is when a market starts to converge on itself. In other words, where the lows are getting lower, uh, sorry, um, the highs are getting lower and the lows are getting higher. So if I was to draw that out for you, give me one moment. So let's just take this as a reference point and this is a reference point. So what I'd like to see is a market that gets to some level which is below that, comes back down, gets to some other level which is higher than that. So this level is going up and this level is going down. In other words, the market is converging and when usually that happens is we tend to create these types of patterns and we, and we get trading opportunities inside converging triangles. We can also see them in channels and things like that. At the moment, where this particular, where we, where we sit right now with the uh, Euro USD, is that, um, look, there is really nothing, nothing there. So what I want to wait for at the very least is, let, um, let me just draw a line in here right now so that I've got it for future reference so that my brain remembers what I was trying to think. I'm just going to draw this in here and I'm just going to put a mark over here. That is a point of interest, okay? It doesn't mean I'm going to take a trade, but it's just a point of interest for me right now. I will zoom in a little bit so that I can see it clearer. Let's see what happens when the market approaches there. But for the time being, and we just sit tight with this particular market. So that's the Euro USD. Let's move along. Let's have a look at the US Yen. US Yen, again, I always like to zoom out, and the first thing that I noticed is that we have this level and this level, and they're quite similar. Let's draw a line on there. Let's have a look how similar they are. They're very, very similar. Okay, and so let me just mark this just so that when I zoom in, I know where I am. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, and instantly, uh, over here there was a trade and opportunity, this one here. Oops, let me draw it in again. These two candles there, that's a set of inside candles, okay, um, which you would have entered the trade down there in this direction. Um, it didn't break through straight away, but it did on the very next go over here. At the moment, let me zoom out again, remembering that that is a common level, we are clearly in an uptrend, okay? You know, this is clearly an uptrend. What I'd like to see happen is as follows. Let me just zoom in. I would like to see this market break through. Once it breaks through, if we get any kind of pullback and on that pullback, you know, somewhere in there, that's the kind of trade that I'd like to look for reversal in this hot zone that I've just marked there where that circle is, and then that would be a continuation type trade, okay? Actually, if by zooming right now, this is a reversal pattern in itself, these three candles there. That is a reversal there, let me just get rid of this. Actually, for anybody who's a little bit more daring, um, there is a trade here in this direction. Now, my only concern is that there could be resistance on this line that we've already marked out. So the, what I'd be more inclined to do is wait for the breakthrough and then on the next pullback, take the trade then. But, you know, you'd be, uh, there would be, there's no reason that I can't say that there is no trade right now. We are in uptrend, we've pulled back down, we've shown reversal, so there you are. So for those of you who are interested, USEN is ready to go. Alright, let's move along, and the last one for this morning is the GBP USD before we move over to the commodities. Again, let's zoom out, it's the easiest way to have a quick glance at the entire market. And, okay, I just want to draw in this 
give me one moment. I want to draw a line here and just leave it there. And what I'm predicting now, I'm going to draw a line here, but technically this is not a line yet, okay? Because I could technically move it up or down like this. A line is only a line once you have two confirmed points. Now let me zoom in. Now what I'm thinking might happen is that the market is going to go up to some level over here and then start to come back down. When it starts to come back down, only then can I confirm this level here. And when I do get that confirmation, what I can do at that point is move... Oops, let me just... I've drawn it too far out. Give me one second so I can't grab it. Only then can I, can I move my line. Can I adjust it? Etc. Et I can't put it there right now because I don't know if it's going to be reversing at this particular point. So for the time being, I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to put a marker on my chart that is, I'm thinking that it may get to around about that level and then turn around. Once that does happen, I will have two confirmed points. Okay, I'll have one point down here and one point here where this line has acted as support and then I would have also had one point there and one point there that the, that the line has acted as resistance and from that point onwards in this direction I'm ready to try and trade any bounce off that shape that I've just drawn in. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, so I will leave that chart exactly as it is and, and the next time that I look at it I will know what I'm looking for. All right, let's move along. Let's have a look at oil. Oil. Let me zoom out. The first thing that I want to do, I'm just checking some levels. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit now. There's nothing there. This chart to me looks like it could be. All right, the first thing that we'll do is let's mark a line down here at this level here. Let's put a marker over here. So just in case, I actually don't think this is just, you know, years and years and years and to be accurate, it's uh, since around about 2002 I've been staring at charts. Um, but from around about I don't think that the market will come down to this level but I'll put a marker on it anyway. If it does and you know it, trading is not really about being correct or predicting or anything like that it's about identifying uh, trading opportunities that have the highest probable um, percentages in your favor that's really what it's all about so I don't care if I'm correct or incorrect it's more about if I've identified a trade that has a higher probability in my favor that's what I'm looking for so if it does happen to reach this bottom point over here then this is definitely a trade that I would be interested in because I've already shown that it's got previous support. Zoom out again and you'll see it. See we've got here one, two, a couple of, and I could just adjust that line. Um, so it's a point of interest. But what I actually feel may happen here is we may turn around and we start heading up into, in, into developing um, the, the next phase of this pattern and Hence, what I want to do is I want to put a line up here because we may end up being trapped inside this region for a little bit. Okay, so let's see what happens. For the time being, uh, oil is in no man's land, so I can't really do nothing other than mark my chart so that when next time I look, I know what I'm looking for. Okay, let's move along. Let's have a look at oil. Uh, sorry, gold, should I say. All right, gold. Let's zoom out. Let's see what we can see. Clearly at the top there, there's a level which has been respected uh, a couple of times already. We can see there once, twice, and three times it's acted as a resistance. That level is around about the 20, the 2050 level or 2045 level. Okay, so naturally, next time it gets into there somewhere we would be interested to see if 
if it is it finally going to break through or is it going to be resistive again so instantly I've marked my chart straight away so that's my starting point now let's zoom in and have a look at what we can see okay this here and deep crest is a, is a typical it's, I wouldn't call it a a, pay, um, a trading pattern but I've seen it many many times and usually what happens is it tends to push through and let me measure this distance between here and the top oh, it's about 40, 42 or 43 um, dollars okay so what does look highly likely here is that we break through get to this area here and then definitely there could be some activity and, and natural push back down so there could be a trading opportunity over there okay uh, where it is right now I don't don't feel confident enough I don't feel the the probability is in my favor enough to attempt to to do anything other than but to wait on this particular one okay all right so that is gold let's final one for this morning it's the ASX 200 let's have a look okay let me just see how this fits in here just sometimes you have to manipulate your charts okay no it doesn't fit but it's what my eye saw straight away let me there is a level there okay I'm carefully looking for a breakthrough over here okay when we have um, because I've, I've missed any I've already missed there's already been too many candles so I've missed any opportunity to to go downwards so what I'm particularly looking for I'm looking for a candle it has to be a bullish candle and it has to look something like this like in blue all right just and with not much wicks at all if you see a candle poke up like this then at the very next candle that's your signal to become a buyer on this particular market all right so this is what I'm looking for specifically um, a lot of the things that I talk about in the weekly analysis you can go to our website at csetraders.com.au and I do talk about them in more depth they're separate videos otherwise this video would just take way too long if I go into every every single detail but just understand that I'm looking for a big break against the resistance um, and I need it in the form of a candle with no wicks on both sides because that's generally a strong indication that we're that finally the buyers have all come in and there's no hesitation and there's a lot of momentum to push in this direction okay all right so there you have it that's the analysis this morning let's take a quick look at uh, what is on the agenda for this particular week now normally the first Friday of the month we have non-farm payrolls but this particular week because Friday is the first non-farm payroll is delayed to next week but I've marked out some uh, the highlight for us locally he's over here it's our CPI data comes out on Wednesday these times by the way that's Sydney time so um, yeah so that's our time local time uh, we have unemployment rates from Canada coming out just quick looking at the um, and uh, we have CPI data from Europe Spain and Germany and RBNZ interest rate statement over here also note those times take a screenshot of that if you need to um, but that's what we have on the agenda for this week that pretty much wraps up for today guys um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, like our videos help the channel out um, and Tuesday through to Friday it'll just be the chart of the day our best trade trade idea with the highest probability that we can find we can't find one every day so on uh, occasionally then may, you may be missing a video or on a day where we haven't been able to find anything um, I will endeavor to make next week's weekly market analysis a little bit more compressed a little bit shorter my aim is to get it all out to you I'm looking at my clock right now when I've just clicked on 19 minutes um, my aim is to make it around about uh, between 8 and 12 minutes by the first format of today all right guys have a great week and I'll speak to you next next Monday for the weekly market analysis. Bye for now.